Buckle up, everybody, because tonight we bathe in liberal tears. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Mike at Official Pagan on Everything. And you are watching Mod Panda. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and definitely leave comments on this one because Kelly is going to show us his love for the Second Amendment. Well, Dr. Mike, my aim track light gun from Ultimark has finally arrived. In this package, you're going to get the light gun, a sensor, and some instructions that are. Not of a lot of use for us who have at-game at stuff, but we'll go through all the things I need to do to get it up and running. The first step will be to download the configuration tool. There's a link in the video description on where you can do that. Next, and this is very important, after you install it, it's going to be very important that you go in and set the configuration so that you run this as administrator. I didn't do that initially, and none of my changes stuck until I did, so be sure you set that to run as administrator. To do that, you navigate to the folder where the executable file is, you right-click on the name of the executable, and then just turn on Run as Administrator. You'll likely find it in the AimTrack folder, which is probably in the Program Files x86 folder. Once you've done that, run the utility. A couple things you need to do here, assign the buttons as 1, 2, and 6 in the left column, 3, 4, and 8 in the right. Make sure that 2 and 4, the middle row, is checkmark. And also look at the bottom and make sure you enabled this as a mouse and not a joystick. Now the fun part. I don't know why, but the firmware that the light gun comes with doesn't work with the ALU. It's version 9.21 on the gun I got. After some deep credit research, uh, I was able to find out that versions 9.20 or 9.19 will work, and so what you need to do is apply that firmware. To do that, while you're running the utility, you press on the Setup tab, you click on Update Firmware, and then click on the OK button. It's going to give you an option to select the firmware, and I'm pretty sure it's going to navigate you to the folder where there's a version 9.19 available for you. If not, go to the aim track folder and you can navigate down to a firmware folder and you'll, you should have something included in there. Once you select the firmware and click OK, be prepared to wait. The window's going to say it's not responding and you're going to sit there for about two minutes, but it will update the firmware. Okay, off to the At Games Legends Ultimate. First of all, I highly recommend in all of this process, don't have anything with the light gun plugged in when you turn on your At Games unit. Turn it on before you plug it in. I had problems when I didn't do that. You're going to want to have a USB hub where you're going to put in the sensor, the USB for the sensor, the USB for the light gun, and then your game source. I'm using CoinOpsX. In the instructions, it's written that you should be using a powered USB hub. As you can see, I'm not, and it worked just fine. So once you have your sensor and light gun and game source connected to the hub, plug in the hub to the ALU. If your ALU has multiple USB ports, do the leftmost one. I found out placing the sensor at the top of the Legends doesn't work very well. It's almost impossible to calibrate. You do need to put it actually down on the display. Above the display, there's space. I had to build a little cardboard shelf to put my sensor on for now. Of course, I'll be 3D printing one, and we'll give you an update on that once that's done. For calibrations, you go to Settings. You find the light gun calibration tile, you click on that, and you're presented with this black screen. Now you take your gun, and there are red buttons on the left and right hand side, and you press both of those simultaneously, and that will move it into calibration mode. What you're going to see is a flashing red crosshair in the upper left hand corner. You aim your gun and shoot at it there, and you continue to shoot at it till you hit it, and then the cursor will move over to the right, upper right corner, you repeat the process, and then it moves to the middle of the screen at the bottom, and then you do it again. And now, as you can see, the cursor moves as the light gun moves. So a quick checklist as you go through this process. Make sure you have a USB 2.0 hub ready. 
Download and install the AimTrack configuration utility. Be sure to set it to Run as Administrator. Configure the buttons as explained in the video. Confirm they save. Sometimes when you close, I would highly recommend once you close the app to reopen the configuration tool again to make sure all your settings have been saved. Make sure you install the 9.19 firmware. Place the sensor just above the screen display. And be sure to plug the light gun in after you start your At Games Legends. Guess it's time to play a little. Day.